question of the Senate. Uh, the amendment we are seeking to do. So I've listened to you, and twice or thrice you have mentioned we should synchronize with the House. I have thought there will be another explanation, probably a more scientific explanation. Mr. President, I don't know the basis at the moment for which we want to shift our sitting from 10 to 11 and end at 3 p.m. To me, we have more energy, our heads are clearer in the morning, and one hour into the day probably would have lost some energy, and I feel, Mr. President, if we walk between 10, if we sit in plenary between 10 and 2, our committees would do better than when the committees would have to go and sit between 4, probably, and 6 or 7 or 8. So if so if we don't have any reason, except that we have to synchronize with the House, I think we need to look at it again. But if we have other reasons that we must change, that will be fine. But if it is just synchronized, the House may have their reasons why they sit at 11 and close at 3. But here I don't see the reason. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Well, yeah, by 11 o'clock was started by you in the 9th Senate, particularly during the period of the COVID. It was during the COVID. In fact, we even reduced the number of days. And then we started sitting from 11 during the COVID period. But the rule uh, 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 the stayed at 10. The COVID. Yes. Our rule says 10, but we came and made the tradition of this 11. In fact, the only thing that we changed was to add additional day. Because during that COVID period, you were sitting twice in a week. But I, I said no, that since there's no more COVID, we should sit three times in a week. And then, of course, we also maintain what we saw, the 11 o'clock. But now, we are saying that we have not been able to justify the 11 o'clock sitting unless we reflect same in our rule. And the idea of 3 o'clock, in my view, is not correct because it doesn't mean you must sit at 3. It simply means that we can even, if we don't have enough things to do, we can close at 1, we can close at 2, to so enable our colleagues to go for committee sittings and other, th other matters related, uh, uh, related to the proceedings of the Senate, such as um, uh, clearances and all that, and a meeting of uh, uh, government functionaries. So the only aspect of it was just to legalize it so that people don't have the impression that uh, you are sitting at 11 o'clock and your rule says 10 o'clock. But if we must leave it as it is, it's not a problem. But let's hear from the public. Yes, my... I want to make a very passionate appeal to our distinguished colleagues. Of course, I listened to the Senate President Emeritus, His Excellency, uh, Distinguished Senator Ahmad Lawa, and he was very apt. Uh, for me, I believe the issue should go beyond trying to reconcile our timing with that of the House of Representatives. As a matter of fact, there had been some days that we sat and the House of Representatives did not sit. There had been moments that we had sat for a whole week with the House of Reps uh, being on recess. Uh, recess. So that cannot be the fundamental reason. The fundamental reason, distinguished colleagues, is that as distinguished senators, 
being on this floor is only one out of at least the three principal functions that we perform. Effective representation on the floor is one. Our committee assignments is another one. Over 70% of the single senators are chairmen of committees. And then, of course, thirdly, we have our oversight functions. Aside from other things that we have to engage in, in our various constituencies and on a national scale, and sometimes on an international scale. The logic, Mr. President, is that a lot of times distinguished senators have reasons to go to bed late. And there is no point having in our rule book that our sitting time is 10 a.m. And every day we sit at 11 o'clock. Of course, there are some distinguished senators who will be here 10 for 10. But there have been a lot of times that even you, Satya, Mr. President, at 11 or 10.30, and we had to wait for uh, some of our distinguished uh, colleagues to come so that we could form a quorum. It's important that we walk our talk. If, if our rules had said 10 a.m. and we had not been able to sit 10 for 10, I think what is most important at this point is what distinguished senator uh, Yahya Abdullah said, the former Senate leader, that if we say it is 11, please let it be 11 o'clock. So I agree with distinguished Senator Ahmad Lawa that it cannot just be because the House sits at 11. As a matter of fact, he also talked about energy. If it's even about energy, our younger brothers and sisters in the House of Representatives have more energy than we do. So if they will not sit before 11 a.m., I think it makes sense that we see it, I mean, we are just, we are just, uh, I mean, amend our rules to read 11 o'clock, rather than our rule book saying 11, 10 a.m. and we don't sit until 11. For me, this is the uh, basic justification, and I would just like uh, all of us to see it from that perspective, so that we can save well, some me, time. Uh, what I've said, but I don't want to be misquoted. <laughs> uh, they will say, I'll you again. Because I, as a, Senator Dingy, there was a time that I watched the sittings of both chambers when we had the third term crisis. And uh, when the question was put, he failed in the Senate while the House was still debating, and somebody had to run from here to go and alert the House that the, uh, the, the Third term bill had failed first uh, to go for second reading in the Senate, and, that was, and therefore there was no point continuing. I don't know, you son. And so they now put their heads together, and then abruptly they stopped for that debate because the thing had died, since it takes two hands to clap. So that is the one, one of the reasons you could think of. And uh, another aspect of it is the fact that it would be nice for us to go into a small closed session and discuss ex exhaustively so that members of the public will not misunderstand our discussion. Then we come back and take the decision. So I will want to urge the leader of the Senate, because this is not the main thing that bothers on the lives of Nigerians at the moment. Uh, when the, uh, when the the civil senator Mark was Senate president, and even the practice he met on ground, Senate was sitting at 2 o'clock because they used the morning period to meet with the diplomatic communities to do a lot of uh, engagements with the civil servants and public officers, and then they start their sitting by 2 o'clock. And uh, so they officially they had 2 o'clock to 5. And I know that many of you also would like to do the same, meet with uh, most of the agencies, conclude even the, uh, open your public hearings uh, before coming for sittings. But uh, it's not for the public to know because the public only thinks that we sit here alone. We don't sit here alone. We do a lot of other things off camera. So the uh, Senate leader, 
as, as much as I agree with you, and still think that we should go into closed session. So to have five, ten minutes discussion before we reopen this debate. So if you don't mind, I wish that you move a motion for the Senate to revert to closed session to have further debate on this. Mr. President, uh, an emphasis that the time, the duration of time we are going to spend here is just like the way it used to be. It's just a change instead of uh, beginning our daily business from uh, 10 o'clock, we are now starting at 11. And we're not going to lo no longer end at uh, by 2, but we'll be ending by 3. So the time frame which, within which we are going to work in the chamber must remain the same. Now it's 10 to 2. So we are changing to from 11 to 3. So the same time frame, the same time duration. I just want to emphasize this, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Sometimes we arrange for meetings by, you know, uh, by 11 or 10, then we have time clashing with the House of Representatives. So we decided to do the part of the reason is to synchronize our time so that we work at the same time because we are by camera legislature. Uh, so this is the reason. This is more of the reason because we normally have a clash of our time. Mm. We have to remind you of what our colleagues are doing. Sometimes we have a joint sitting of committees on both the House of Representatives. And so if they are sitting by the level of government, and then they are sitting by the then it doesn't make sense. If they are closing by two, and we are closing by
to order eight sub three uh, move that our time of sitting be extended beyond 2 p.m. to enable us to uh, conclude on the proceedings as contained on the other paper for today. I so move, Mr. President.